Where's the toes? Where's your buttery toes? <laughs> I got them on the floor. Nobody heard that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey guys! Hey. Hey. How are you guys doing? Great. Right. 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 I'm so happy everybody's here. Oh, yeah. 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 Who's, the, the, who's the moderator in this place? Is it Karen? Yeah. 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 Wake up, son. Karen. Stop singing that song. You get no feet. <laughs> Like yeah, yeah. Where did everyone come from? Washington, Whoa. Florida, Jacksonville, Kentucky, Kentucky. 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 Kentucky.
So before before Karen gets here, we'll uh, we'll just warm it up real quickly so she gets here and we go right into it. Um, we'll start with uh, with Matt over there. If you could just say who you are, really, who you are. <laughs> For the camera, for the people. You have to. You have to say the thing. You're someone. You know. Hey guys, my name's Matt. Woo! I play Rich Carson at Speedy Green Ranger. Can you take some photos of this? Yes, sir. Are we sharing? Yeah. Are we? Are we just sharing? Hi guys. I'm Monica. Hi. Hi. And of course, I'm. Hello Ranger. Woo! Yeah. Hey. 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 watching Power Rangers? I feel like I'm hearing the series, so. No, that was the mushroom series. I will be. Not the after dark panel. Almost. My name is Alicia. I go by Allie. Woo! Woo! Thanks. We've got some pink fans here. I feel like my pink fans are usually lacking. Everyone loves red and blue. No. I'm so excited when I see some pink fans. Pink is powerful. Thank you, Pink is powerful. Brandon J. McLaren, SPD Red. Chris Fialat, CEO, SPD. So we um we won't start off uh, the panel until Karen gets here, but we do want to like just keep things moving. Time is supposed to be like 2:30. Yeah, 2:30. Yeah, 2:30. We gotta go. We gotta go. Why don't you just moderate, man? For yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start the panel. Does everyone know Luch? Yeah, Luch Malau. Yeah. Luch Malau. Yes. Okay. He's an actual real ninja. He's my Muay Thai trainer, actually. I was. I was. Pick some butt. I don't know. Whatever. All right, so let's, uh, let's start off very quickly. Um, we all know uh, that obviously it's a 10 year anniversary. You guys are all still going to be here. We have a whole kind of like arrangement thing happening tonight. I know there's a lot happening, so let's just go right to the questions. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Who's got a question? We'll start right here. Okay, cool. Okay, it's been 10 years since your season. What do you guys envision your characters are doing now, 10 years since then? Mm. CEO, SPD. <laughs> Sorry. Question 30 minutes ago. Pink and Blue are married. I'm with the kids at home. I said Christian She's I'm running with the kids. I am okay. the she boss. She's the she boss. I'm, I'm taking I'm care the of the house mom. <laughs> Sky is now watching the triplets at home. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure they eat properly to become the Red Ranger. <laughs> uh, I think Jack has multiple children with multiple different women. <laughs> He has no more money because he just has a lot of alimony payments. <laughs> so he's broke somewhere. So uh, he's looking for not alimony. Uh, yeah, Z was really good at saving and investing in her 401k and everything. So now she's just vacationing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's that? Is she married to Bridget? Or? Uh, no. Oh. Maybe you'll find out later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, <clears throat> later on we're doing a, uh, a reading of um, some scripts that were written by fans and one that was written by myself, actually, that kind of yeah. predicts where we're going to be uh, in the future. So you should, guys should come to that. I forget, it's at 5, 5.30, I think. It's going to be fun, because we haven't, we haven't played our characters ever since we, we shot, so we're all going to slip into I our, our roles. I haven't even written what you've written, so I have no idea. Don't you do your homework. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Hi, Karen. Hi. Hi. I'm so excited to meet all. Well, I met you, yeah. but, like, not met me. So, I met you. Oh, my God. How long? I know this guy. Hey, what's up, bud? How are you? Oh, good to see you. Hi. 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 Hi.
Pretend that we're not here. Pretend we're not here. <laughs> 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 There was, that, there was that time I thought I had a man. So you guys okay with talking about social media? Talk about that. I'm super excited to be here, guys, first of all, because these guys are have, have carried the torch, you know, and it's like so great to be around other rangers, and I, I feel like I, there's not a ranger I haven't met that I don't love, so so oh. thank you. Oh. Yeah, thank you for sitting down. Thank you for hanging with me. Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey everybody, welcome to Uncensored Talk. You guys welcome have been, yes, it's uncensored. We're about to get down and dirty. We're like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can, we can, we can post some of those if you want. Break out the shots. Oh, oh yeah, don't, don't talk yeah. bad in front of mama. Uh, welcome guys to Uncensored Talk, the Ranger Stop Edition. Woo. Yes. Woo. yes. by obviously introducing these fabulous people. They're amazing. So I'm going to start down here with this. this. You, did right. you, did right. you did Well, we're going to act like we haven't yeah, done it. Yeah, we're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. So, Chris. Yeah, Chris. It's only for the sake of the show. Only Guys, show me out. Chris, uh, Chris Violet, SPD, CEO. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I know, finish their sentence. Awesome. Take one more time. Randy has a clear and SPD red. Ali Parat, I guess I'll go by Armstrong now, but SPD Pink. Love it. <laughs> Monica May, and I'm um, yellow, C. Yay. Maddie Austin Zadowski, as Chris says at uh, Bridge Carson, SPD Green. Yes, yay! Give them a round of applause. So SPD was a very popular season. Super popular, and I'm so excited you guys are doing cons together. Is this one of the first cons that you've done together this as a the, team? This is, is this it? Ranger stuff all exclusive. Together. Wow. Yeah. Ranger stuff. Only at Ranger stuff. So I'm going to ask the question that everybody always gets asked. This is the question we've answered a million trillion times, but this is what they want to know. How did you get your part on Power Rangers? I'll start with you, and we'll just work our way down. Um, I auditioned in Toronto for the Blue Ranger part originally, uh, and back then they were way more kind of. Uh, it felt more like the Fantastic Four kind of thing. I think the Blue Rangers' powers uh, were stretching. <laughs> yeah, so it was like, really, Fantastic Four? Um, and then I got brought back in and I read for Bridge and it was basically a monologue of him talking forwards and backwards right. and sideways and, <laughs> and everything. And they said that I just was the person that made it sound the most natural and then they said, Never mind, that's a whole other story. Um, but, uh, yeah, then I was at home one day and I, they called me and they said, uh, they, we were on speaker form, phone and they said, can you do a handstand? And I said, I don't know why. And they said, because you got the part if you can. So I did a handstand and I got the part. Wow, wow. How about you, beautiful? Um, well, I auditioned for Bridge because y'all know I'm a Florida girl. Woo! Yay! I'm so excited to be home. Um, so I put myself on tape in uh, my acting class at the time in Tampa, and then I had a call back in Miami where they put me on tape again, and I booked the role. And then, yeah, and then I flew to New Zealand a month later. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I mean, it was pretty wham bam, actually. Kind of happened pretty easily and quickly. No hands dance. <laughs> Girls weren't required. I was actually, I went to college in LA and I was driving home to Toronto when I got the call that I was going to audition in Toronto. So I remember they sent the sides to a fax machine in Iowa and um, I learned my lines before I drove to Toronto. Um, and I think in my audition it was just, you know, can you do gymnastics? Do you do figure skating? It was, just, you know, how athletic are you? Can you move? Yeah, they were asking me on how athletic I was. Well, you know what's and funny? But they didn't ask me any of that. Which is funny. Nothing. Well, I think they didn't ask me if I could move at all. The history what? of my character. Yeah, but no, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> and she could. Yeah. What yeah. I don't know if I've told many people is I, I did the audition and then I broke my arm. Oh, wow. And I never told anyone that I broke my arm. And then I got the call while I was in the cast saying, you got the part and you're going to be flying to New Zealand in three weeks. I'm supposed to have a cast on for six. So I went to my doctor and smiled really pretty. <laughs> I really made this thing off my arm. And so they cut it off and I flew to New Zealand and then I fought. Now is your arm like permanently crooked? Or no, like, it's it's you fine. Like... I can suck it up. I'm a power ring. There you go. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, what's the question? How did you teach? Oh, okay, so... <laughs> I had dreadlocks. Uh, I, I, so I was, uh, I, I had dreadlocks. Are you done, man? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I had put the audition on tape. Uh, I was in Vancouver at the time. Um, and then uh, I had to fly out to Toronto for a night to read for Stephanie and Bruce. Um, and they made us, they made me put together like a 60 second martial arts. Really? Um, yeah. yeah. Wow. So I had to prepare a 60 second martial art routine and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> so I, I actually trained with a dude for like two weeks to kind of put this martial art routine together so I don't embarrass myself. Um, and then I went back and, and they told me that I was no longer in consideration for the Green or the Blue Ranger. So I kind of was like, oh, I guess, you know, you audition for a lot of stuff and it comes and goes. And about three weeks later, they call me and they're like, you just booked the Red Ranger gig. And I was like, I wasn't even, so I don't know what happened. Like they, somebody cut me off the list and then they just cast me as, uh, as a Red Ranger, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly, the headshots. So that's how it happened. Your, your turn now, man. I was booked strictly for my headshot. <laughs> No, I was gonna say, what? <laughs> no, it's happening. That, 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 that would be funny. That would be great. Because during the, during the sequence, so Sky had a sky brow. Like, there was a look that I would always do with, like, you know, like, you know, the eyebrow. Yeah. And that uh, was when, like, someone yeah, was doing something wrong. Right? It, 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 it was before Zoom It was before Zoom It was the first time. It was the people's look. It was the first time. <laughs> it was the people's eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I, I think it was similar. Like, I think. All the guys, I read for green, I read for blue, I read for red. And, uh, you know, I think it was just our personalities show more for our characters. Like, Sky was very, you know, military. And uh, I had nice. a military haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give him a know, buzz cut. Matt, to really Matt sell showed it. up when he was all like artsy and funky, and I was like, you know, straight to the straight and narrow. They're like, here's Sky. Yeah. That's awesome. And we love your headshot. I was like, thanks. <laughs> so this is the thing. You skip forward. I don't know how many years it's been for you guys, ten but years. ten years. Ten is it your ten year? We wow. got it, and it feels so good. That's awesome. So ten years later, here we are. We're still talking about the show. How does it feel to be a part of such a phenomenal franchise? Like I, I think people. Um, in the beginning, we started doing cons about 10 years ago, and it was like, they were like, oh, Power Rangers will never bring a crowd. You know, people yeah, would tell yeah. us that. Yeah, they would tell us that. And then we started doing shows, and lo and behold, here we are in high demand to do conventions. So how does it feel to be a part of this? And I mean, the fans show up. Isn't it crazy? Let's give it up for Karen, then, for like, being so many years. you guys have the spirit to keep things like this going. That's yeah, nice. well, hey, it was because of them. Honestly, you guys were the ones asking for us, and we showed up, you know? We were like, buddy, Morphin or nothing. So, yeah, <laughs> we were all excited. <laughs> but how does it feel? Because now you're getting a, a taste. I mean, your, your, your cast is together. I mean, there are going to be thousands of people show up to this show. How does it feel to be a part of the Power Ranger franchise? Well, can I, I'm going yeah. to jump in, because I, I, I think Please. I just mentioned this like two seconds ago, as I said, our show aired and was shot right before social media had its big craze. Mm -hmm. So there was no Facebook, there was no Instagram, there was no Twitter, whatever it was. was my our popularity strictly came based on people watching the show, and that was it. I mean, like, we communicated with our families back home through MSN Messenger. I think MySpace was, like, just kind of hitting the market. I don't right. know what that is anymore. <laughs> but, but, but I mean, it, and that's, no, but that's thanks to you guys. I mean, because now, you know, some of the shows that are airing now, it's like, you know, everything's Instagram. And you can, I think I was watching a show the other day, and a hashtag came up on, while the show was airing, and you could, like, be interactive with the show. Like, that changes everything. Like, you can take, you can take tolls while they're on the show, like, should they make this decision, yes or no, or whatever it is. And strictly just based on our fans is why we are still here and still kicking, because you guys watched us, and you guys followed us for that long, you know? And we thank you for it. Thank you, guys. And I have to say, when I first got the job, I mean, I was so excited, because I watched the original and loved Kim Kimberly, so to be a Power Ranger was cool. But then following the show, immediately following, I think it's because I was still quite 
young and I didn't really talk about it to anyone that I was a power ranger. Yeah, because you don't lead with that. You don't no, go, hi, I'm, I'm Karen Ashley and I'm a power ranger. But I, I just found like, <laughs> it. Right? Lead with a right shot. Right. <laughs> Walk in the room and like do a, do a pose. Yeah. But a lot of time went by when I was used to not talking about it where I feel like I almost lost that power ranger identity for a while because yeah. I just kind of buried it. Mm -hmm. And through the fans and through doing these conventions, I've learned to embrace it, and I'm so proud to be a part of the franchise, where now, my husband's like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm excited that I was yeah. the Pink Power Ranger, you know? That's so funny. It's come full circle, and it's been a, over the 10 years, it's, it, it, I can see a big change. And, but it's, it's such a cool franchise to be a part of. And I always say the fans are what reestablish your love Absolutely. for it. Because Power Rangers is like the hardest job you'll ever have. Like they work you a million hours and you, it's like, the, it's like, yeah, you don't get paid a lot of money. You guys know. And it's like the good, the bad, the ugly of acting. And then you go on and work and you're like, I mean, you, you, it's so much easier after Power Rangers. Like they broke you in. So you guys shot in New Zealand, right? Yeah, they did, right? We did it. We shot in Valencia and in, in LA. And um, so you guys shot in New Zealand. What was that like? Was that your first time out of the country? I mean, you were living there, basically. Yeah, yeah. New Zealand was my first real trip out of uh, out of Canada. Really? For, for me, yeah. It was, it was, well, I had been to L.A. and Miami and things like that, but I, we lived in New Zealand. And, uh, and it's different. People think it's, very, it's different. very different. It's like 10 years behind. Like, they're not... You know. it's, yeah, it's a little, it, it was a little bit backwards, but it was also so beautiful because you could drive an hour and go to like a volcano or drive an hour and go to like a black sand beach or drive an hour and be in a jungle or drive an hour and be in a city. So like I totally understood why they wanted to shoot there, but it was like, but be, we were so removed from it that we got back home and we all didn't know what we had even really done because yeah. we were like we, we weren't even part of anything like no one no one even really cared we were shooting the series well, there because they don't get they didn't get power rangers they didn't, yeah they didn't see, like, no them. one knew who the power rangers were in new zealand so we, <laughs> but it was last <laughs> <laughs> time we met they knew who they were <laughs> I love it. Brought them in. Those New Zealanders knew right away. You know, how, you know, how some actors have to say, not all, but it's like, I'm so and so, and you know, like we couldn't do that there. So I felt it was like really humbling. We were doing our job, but no one knew what the heck what the show was. So yeah, it was really incognito for a year. So it was cool. Yeah. And did you find, because I know we shot, we, we got on the show and we shot the movie in, in Sydney. And we literally were there for six months. And so it was like, wow. we, that was the moment. It was like bonding. Like we yeah. became a family. There's no, there's no other bond like that. Because really it was us against all the Aussies. Like there was just, you know, because we were very removed from our families. And, I mean, it's not like you can just back then. You can't just call people or get online. Yeah, yeah. So how did that bond you, that experience of shooting the show and being in a foreign country? I haven't seen, I haven't seen these guys. I mean, I, I, no, Brandon and I have been in touch, and, and Chris, but like for, with these guys, like we were such a family that we haven't seen each other or connected. But I trust all these guys in my life, man. Right. Like, these, these guys are my family. I mean, when we're there, we're there, you know, kind of, we're there for a long time kind of all living in very close proximity with one another. Um, and, and not only that, like we work together, you know, like as a Power Ranger, you're in every scene, yeah. every day. Like there's yeah. no scenes with just like me and Allie, like rarely, it's like five of us together all the time from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., five days a week, Saturday and Sunday. So like, these guys are some of my best friends in the world, like period, you know what I mean? Um, and thank God we got along because I've been in situations that are similar where I just don't fuck with people like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I fuck with y'all, I love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, I know. We heard, we heard from people in makeup that there was cast before us that uh, oh, yeah. they didn't like, they didn't They're... hang out, they didn't get along. Like, yeah. We, we had nights where like, we'd go and like watch Lost in My Place. Oh, yeah. And then we'd go to like the boys had a uh, as a had a what, Wednesday night at uh, <laughs> five, <laughs> uh, half price like half price steak. Do you guys remember even the? No, no, there was like a oh, oh, yeah, the the Lennon. Lennon, oh yeah. We did so much fun, man. You guys, you guys have even, no idea. We did a, we, they so did a play awesome. together. Like we, we yeah. read a play, play. and we did a play oh. at Brandon's apartment. Like that's how close we were. I love it. I love it. Brandon and I went backpacking in Australia. 
we spend yeah, years. Brandon, Brandon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we did. We, we bungee yeah. jump together. Yeah. We weren't supposed to, but we bungee jump together. <laughs> <laughs> that was like that's a gift from us. Skydive together. Roll breakers. Skydive together. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay. All of our contracts. I jumped off the highest bungee in the world. We got in the biggest fight that night. Who did? Oh yeah, Jack Daniels. With each other? Jack Daniels. Okay, what is it? What are they? Okay, you know. We were well, all so close that we really were like a family and that we, yeah, we got in scuffles too. I don't remember, I just remember doing the skydiving thing. Jack Daniels. And Jack, well, yeah. That might have been the reason. There was a lot, there was a couple different liquors that Chris was not allowed to drink anymore. After, 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 Red, after Red Bull's one of them. Red Bull's one of them. Red, Red, Red Bull, Bull Maka. There's some reason I followed Brandy's mattress in his, in his condo. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. He broke the I stove. Broke, broke the stove. Broke the stove. <laughs> I started doing shit up. <laughs> That's what Sky does though. I was always working out because I wanted to be the best. I was like, I'm going to some chips right here. So speaking of working out, I, over I remember at one point, <laughs> the costume, my costume department said to Monica and I, your costumes are fitting just like a little bit too tight. Okay, so, they so, did that to all the girls. I'm sure. And um, when all Guys never the, got it. When all of the actors were on set, sometimes Monica and I would have to share a trailer. So there was a good month where Monica would just bring cans of tuna oh. to eat for oh. lunch. No. And literally... This is such a... No! No! no. 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 Wait, this is not even... I was like, hell no. I was like, I'm going to shut down. Yeah, and I just kept I, I, eating my I, I, afternoon I, I, tea and scones. Well, because this is the thing, in New Zealand, they feed you, well, not in just like being on set, you know, so yeah, I get day. there, right? And I'm like nervous yeah, and I'm away from my family. And then there's like Thanksgiving dinner on set every day. And yeah. before that point, I never even knew I could gain weight because I've always been thin my whole life. So then I get on set, and I'm nervous, and I'm like, oh my god, no, this is food. And so I'm just eating. Just like, all that lamb. And that eating all that lamb, and like heavy, you know, like Thanksgiving. And then like, I found out I could actually gain weight, it was possible, <laughs> and I did. Which is totally fine, but the costume department just the didn't costume want to have department to redo was, the yeah, costume. Like, okay. For the record, I think they have to let my costume at it as well. <laughs> so uh, it's just not the ladies, all right? I also had a good time. Aww. Butter okay, chicken, so, you know? Butter, so, like, so, that was good. That was good. Outside of your characters, outside of, you know, obviously your characters painted you, okay, who's like the, the, the person you want to go out and club with? Who is Chris? The, Chris uh, yeah, is yeah. the person you want to bring Who's to the person club? who's going to start dancing? Chris will get you okay, in so, anywhere. Chris, Chris is the party anywhere. guy? Are we, are we, he will get you in any, any club. He's like, the VIP. He's, VIP. he's got the I, VIP. I have a rule. Like, there's no harm in asking. Like on our way down here, I got Maddie, S, Maddie and I some, uh, and Allie actually. You know, like free free iPads to watch on the plane. Free. I love books. it. I like a free, I like a free sandwich on the plane. Yeah, free sandwich. Free <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Was, but, but why though? Because when we got on the plane, I, I made everyone feel comfortable. I was helping you with their baggage. Yeah. Getting ready to go. I was like, all right, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your flight. I'm interning at uh, Air Canada Rouge. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, let's, let's, no, let's get down to the real. Okay, did you leave with that flight attendant's phone number? Oh. 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 Okay, that's my next question. Who's first to get the digits? Brandon's a number collector. I'm like, uh, you're the closing the deal. You're the closing the deal kind of guy. I'm like, I want to set the party up, and then once the party's set up, I'm like, I just. Like, I, object. I object, Your Honor. I object. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who's the who's the one who would invite you over for dinner? Yeah. 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 I want to have like a nice cooked dinner yeah. quiet. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah. She would still say crispy on your best behavior. Kind of yeah. Who's yeah. the champagne? Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. She's popping yeah. bottles. We'll give her that. Okay. Oh, she did chip. She's a great host. She, she, she has an uh, she has an event company. So oh. this is what she does. We're gonna yeah. talk about that. We're gonna talk about she, everybody she takes right care outside of Power Rangers. For, for a living. living. So, yeah. Aw, that's awesome. That's awesome. So who is the one who is would drive the getaway car? Chris, man. Yeah. <laughs> if, if anything like suspect or like, how is Chris? I think I love you, Chris. I think I'm in love. And basically, Chris will do anything that you're like, I would really love, you know, yeah. like, let's just rob a bank tonight. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'd be like, Chris, I'd like to rob a bank. I'll get it done. We are going. Well, it's because, like Brando said, like when we were on set, these guys are my family. Alright? This guy's a protector. Yeah. I was very protective. I was very protective. I was very protective. I, there's a story, I don't know if we're allowed to tell it, but we got you can tell it. We got we got a little bit of won't tell anybody, will we? We, we went on a we went on a wine tour and uh, we gotta do a little rumble in the Bronx and somebody started messing with my boy Jack here and it, and like it took me two two steps and I flew across the street, I think it was. And then I was just like holding this guy. I was like, you done? You done? You done? I I, I, scared this kid. Done, right? I scared this kid so bad, I scared his kids' kids. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty bad. So I know you guys I were... kicked the guy while he was there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I kept my distance. I made sure that you had it under control. Then I got in to make sure, you know, you don't mess yeah. with us. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Finish him off. Give me some toast. Here's some toast. I love it. You guys are toast. <laughs> so, your season before, you guys, your, your season was a hit. It was one of the seasons that they look upon as a very popular Power Ranger season. That's cool. We need to make a movie. Yeah. Let's, let's make a movie. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Everybody's union, so so when was the moment that you knew your show was a success? Like, was there a particular moment that you're like? I'm gonna Man. tell you a story. <laughs> <laughs> so our, our our Thursday night routine in New Zealand was we'd go over to Chris Chris's house after work. We'd all smoke a gang of weed and we'd watch Lost. Because <laughs> this is when Lost just hit. You guys remember Lost? Yeah. 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 Lost. You remember Lost the show? Lost. You guys okay, watch Lost? No, we didn't. We maybe humored okay, you for yeah. an episode. So we watch Lost every Thursday, like religiously. That was our. I plan. got Brandon hooked. Yeah, I love Lost. On Lost and the week. Still my favorite. Show. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Right, so you black? You have dreadlocks? You don't smoke weed? <laughs> Anyway, so one day, one day, we're watching Lost, right? And we're all fucked up. And, and there's this one scene, there's a flashback scene, and it's in the, it's in the teaser. And oh, uh, I think Evangeline Lily's in her room, she's on the run. And it cuts to a shot of Allie's power, she's watching Power Rangers yeah. on the TV. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. 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 Allie's Pink Ranger is, is in the background on the I'm TV. Lost. I'm lost. Okay. And that's when I knew. We knew, we were like, that shit was like the best thing that ever happened in my life. <laughs> Our favorite show is watching our show. <laughs> well, Walter Jones tells a similar story. He goes, I knew we were big when we were watching, I think it was, um, what's the movie with Will Smith and Martin? Uh, Bad Boys? And he was like, I woke up with a Power Ranger up my ass. And we were like, oh, yes. <laughs> Like, that came out of, yeah, that was pretty awesome. Okay, so obviously, life goes on. It's been 10 years. What are you guys up to now? Because I know you guys are all amazing people. I mean, you obviously have your own company. Let's let's start. What 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 have you been up to? Um, Power Rangers was really. I, I mean, I did a movie after Power Rangers where I got blown up. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Um, <laughs> Uh, that was like really the last role that I did, and I focused on writing and directing, and I made a documentary on uh, John Hughes called Don't You Forget About Me. Yeah! Uh, awesome! And, I've seen and that! I, uh, my, I made a, a feature comedy um, that's about awkward love and, and, and how awkward love is and awkwardness. Um, and uh, it's called it's called pretend we're kissing, and it's a romantic comedy, and it comes it's it's been in Canada, and it will be released in the states in uh, January, so you can get it on. Guys, where, where can we where can they find it? And yeah. Amazon and All Netflix eventually, and all, like a whole whack of places, and Zoe Kravitz is in it. And, oh, uh, very cool. Uh, Zoe Kravitz, his daughter, the hot, who's, the uh, who's in Mad Max and Divergent and Insurgent. And, uh, yeah, and it's a, it's a cool film. Congratulations. Thank That's you. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, well, 
I mean, after the show, I moved straight to LA, and I've been doing acting there forever. And then recently, I became a burlesque dancer. So, yeah. Hot. 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 And it's awesome. a lot of you guys have been super awesome supporting me doing that, and it's been really fun. So I've been doing that for the last three years, and I travel all over the states, and you know, in LA, have shows and performing and stuff like that. So. Can I get like? Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta have like a family night and go see the show. Oh, and I'm actually putting together a burlesque Power Ranger act. Okay, next year, Power Ranger stop. You will buy your VIP tickets to the burlesque Power Ranger. I'm making the costume. I'm having Michael. I don't know if Michael's in the room. No. Um, who makes a lot of costumes? You guys probably know that. But um, I just got the first draft of the costume, and it's pretty hot, awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, it's, instead of the normal yellow, it's like sparkle Ooh. yellow Ooh. fabric. Girl, after my so, heart. <laughs> And this is going to be bedazzled, and this will be in the act. So, yeah, so I'm super excited about that. Are you going to bedazzle? There's a. Is it a thing? Is it a thing called like. The important part? Yeah, like, like, like bedazzled. <laughs> Everything is going to be bedazzled, okay? Here's what's going to know where the important part's going to have sparkle. <laughs> It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty awesome. So I hope you guys keep a lookout for that because I'm really excited about that. I think they will. <laughs> I told you it's sold out. I mean they're back are taking money, it's sold out. Bridge won't miss it either. <laughs> Come, come do a burlesque act in my college. I think everyone would love it. At your college? I bet. <laughs> my beautiful. Tell us all about your event planning and your whole company, please. Hey, yeah. Um, after Power Rangers, I did act for a few years. Um, but then I had babies. I <laughs> have two boys. Oh, and so awesome. it was really hard oh. to stay in the <laughs> oh. oh. Yes, give her the up. That's hard being a mom. Exactly. That's a hard job. It's a hard auditioning. And, and anyways, um, so I, I started my own company. So I have an event planning yeah. business. Yeah, in Vancouver. In Vancouver. Okay, so if you're in Vancouver and you need your wedding planned, if you need a, a birthday party, whatever, right? Yeah, call her. You, mister. I, I, can, I see you all the time. Oh, I, I do too, in my dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Wake up that's, suddenly. That's for the next show. That's for the next show. show. That's for the after dark show. <laughs> <laughs> you guys make a good couple right over there, right? So uh, I've been on, you know, I've been doing Graceland for the last three years. <laughs> Since so we only did three seasons now, but I just. Uh, um, but I just uh, and I just finished um, starring in a new show on Chiller TV called Slasher. It's Chiller TV's first original series. Uh, me and Katie McGrath. Have you guys seen Jurassic World? Yeah. So me and Katie McGrath star in that, um, and it comes out I think uh, early next year on Chiller TV. It's their first original series. Um, so yeah, it'll be out uh, next year. Watch it. It's a, it's a really cool kind of traditional slasher type eight episode miniseries kind of thing. It'll be fun. So check it out. No. He's I, a, um, the protector. I'm like, uh... We're gonna write a show called The Protector. This summer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was, uh, I was doing some acting after Power Rangers. Um, I was like more like, I'm, I'm just an adventurer, right? And so I went backpacking when I was in New Zealand. I took this guy with me, went to Fiji, did some traveling, trying to always find myself. <laughs> Uh, after Power Rangers, did a couple, did a couple movies, did a couple spots on some shows. Worked with George Romero on a zombie flick, Diary of the Dead. That was kind of cool. Got to shoot some zombies and ended up dying. Um, and then you know went to Thailand for a couple months. Um, and then I had a chance to work with uh, our friend Greg again in LA. Uh, we have a mutual friend that was a business partner, and we're developing a word challenge game that I'm trying to kind of write some content for and turn into like. I don't want to say as big as it, I think it can be the next kind of Harry Potter-ish thing, but it's called the World of Aura. There's some kind of graphics and some art about it on my uh, on my IG. Um, and then yeah, recently kind of this, you know, um, that took me to Chicago, and I I kind of did a pitch project. I wanted to challenge myself. I produced and co-directed and uh, DP'd a like a three thousand dollar horror flick, uh, Red Windows. I don't know if you've been following me, but it's it's kind of finished its editing, and we're going to take it to some horror festivals and see. 
You know, it's kind of one of those I'm going to show people and be like, and I want your opinion. If it sucks, say, Chris, you know, don't ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> because I want, so I want those to films need a second. Want, That's what makes it great. Well, I want to, I want to like, be like, listen, this is, what I did for, this is what I did for three grand. Imagine what I can do for 300000 Exactly. So that's the idea, right? So, I love it. Or three, three million, right? Yeah, I mean, I so it. then after that, I, I spent some time in BC and got really close with uh, my BC West Coasters. So I'm trying to, I'm kind of living between BC and, and Toronto right now because I don't like winter and BC is kind of like the California, Canada. So it'd be nice to kind of, you know, be close to this guy on the West Coast and be close to Matt and Allie and, and Mom. I love it. I love it. So, I mean, obviously. And I'm a stripper after midnight. <laughs> It's sold out. The, the, the mail strip show is sold out. <laughs> give, give Chris tequila and his clothes come right I don't wear spandex, I just paint myself blue. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> man group. <laughs> okay, so where can they find you on social media? Because that's the biggest thing. I want them to support all your projects. I want them to love on you as much as possible. Where can they find you? Yeah, love all over us. <laughs> At, uh, I'm on Twitter. I am uh, at Maddie Austin, and I just started a new, <laughs> and as of like an hour ago, a new uh, Instagram that's just uh, a okay. buttery, buttery toast. So everybody, it's just posts on toasts. Oh my god. <laughs> At least a thousand followers by the end of Ranger yeah. Stop Buttery Toast. Go yeah, click sure, it yeah. Let's let's build that up. Let's build it up. <laughs> um, um, I'm Miss May Burlesque on my Instagram, on my Facebook. But you guys follow me on my Facebook because I like doing that a lot more than Instagram right now. You can talk to people on Facebook. Like yeah, I like communicating more. a little bit better, and I just feel like it's more like personal. But and then. Oh no, 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 I'm sorry, my Instagram is Burly Miss May. And then everything else is Miss May Burlesque. And go check out my website because I just updated it with a lot of new video and um, I'm always keeping my photos up to date. So nice. On Instagram I'm events by Ally, A L Y, and I have a personal Twitter is Ally Perot, A L Y P U R R O T T. I'm on Twitter, I'm at Brando J J A Y, and on Instagram it's just Brandon J. McLaren, my full name. Uh, Twitter and IG is at CSValette, along with uh, at CSV Inc. And then it's CSValette is my Facebook page, but then there's a fan page. I try, I actually try and talk to most of the possible so. Yeah. Yeah. So any final thoughts? I mean, you've got a captivated audience that is dying. They're they're gonna they're gonna be so happy to spend the weekend with you guys this weekend. Is there anything you want to say before we wrap it up here on Uncensored? Talk? Oh, I'm addicted to Dub Smash. So if you guys want to Dub Smash, oh, yeah. I'm the Dub Smash King. I don't know if you've seen my Dub Smashes on my oh, yeah. IG, but I do my. What is I do Dub my, Smash? I keep my shit tight. Down. I keep my shit tight on my Dub Smash. So if you guys have one, find one, come by with me, uh, come by my my booth wherever it is, and we'll I'll star in one of a Dub Smash. Okay. It's gonna be it's gonna be cool. Like make some two character ones or something like that, and then we'll record it and boom. And make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You guys over here. I did, uh, come to our panel tonight where we're reading the, the scripts. So. Yeah. 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 That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. What time is that? Do you know? 5.30. 5.30. Yeah, we should okay. do something like where we you know, pick someone from the audience to read some of the other characters. Um, come yeah, so you can participate. That's the plan. That's the plan. Well, guys, thank you so much for being a part of Uncensored Talk. Thank you. Talk.